The one and only Raiden Booba Sword Shogun. The only Archon that made me lose two 50-50s and the most powerful Electro character in the goddamn game as long as you have her C2. Even though Raiden Shogun released back in version 2.1, she is still a very powerful unit. Today, I will be showing you everything. All of the different ways you can play Raiden Shogun, her best artifacts, her best weapons, her best teams, but also some budget options if you don't have the best options that are available to her. Raiden Shogun is an evil dictator that completely changed her moral compass after losing a single fight, but also an amazing Electro DPS character that can also battery your entire team regardless of what element they are. Whenever you act Activate her elemental burst and whip out the booba sword, your normal charged and plunge attacks will be infused with electro. And every time you hit somebody with one of these moves while in your burst, you give your entire team energy. This makes it so that you don't have to spend as much time gathering energy for the rest of your characters and you can focus more on doing tons of damage. First, I think we should go over artifacts, which in turn can give you some ideas of how you can play Raiden Shogun. You are going to want to use either an attack or ER sands, an electro damage or attack goblet, and a crit circlet. Her best in slot artifact set is going to be a four piece emblem of severed fate, the artifact set that was made for her. But this artifact also turned out to be one of the most universal artifact sets. Emblem of Severed Fate ended up pairing really well with a lot of different characters, which ended up making it one of the most resin efficient domains to farm for. Emblem increases your elemental burst damage by 25% of your energy recharge and caps at 75% elemental burst damage bonus. The two piece bonus also gives you 20% energy recharge, which is close to getting an extra four rolls of substats on an artifact. A lot of characters that rely on their burst heavily benefit from this set. So Emblem is a great artifact to farm for because not not only Raiden Shogun needs the set, you can also simultaneously farm for other characters. And all of this sounds amazing, but I actually lied. Let me introduce you to Raiden Shogun's actual best artifact set, Flower of Paradise Lost. But that set is used to increase dendro-based reactions. Why would you use that on Raiden Shogun who wants to hit big numbers with the Booba Sword? Well, after Dendro released, it left Raiden Shogun in a very weird spot. Yes, you can definitely play Raiden however you want. Hell, you can throw Crimson Witch of Flames on her and play her in an overload team if you want. But Hyper Bloom is such a broken, overpowered reaction that at C0, you actually do way more damage by just slapping as much elemental mastery as you can on Raiden and you using her as the Hyper Bloom driver. Building up her own personal damage with a four-piece emblem set does far less damage than just running Raiden for Hyper Bloom. Hyper Carry Raiden doesn't start doing more damage until you get her second constellation, which is honestly an absurd constellation. Oh, that's a nice amount of defense you have there. It would be a shame if I just ignore it. Yes, you can still run Raiden at C0 as a carry, and you can still 36 star the Abyss with her. I know that's what I do. It just feels so disrespectful to have such a cool looking character delegated to the role of a Hyper Bloom bot. So since these two playstyles exist, and Hyper Bloom does more damage at C0, I figured I had to bring it up. Even though, if you do play Hyper Bloom Raiden, I'm not gonna lie, you're kinda cringe. I'm sorry, I don't make the rules around here, I just enforce them. Wow, who said it? Get the cameras on them. So TLDR, if you are running DPS Raiden, I recommend 4-piece Emblem, and if you don't have a 4-piece Emblem set yet, you can use a 2-piece 2-piece combo of Emblem, any 18% attack bonus set, Noblesse, or Thundering Fury. But this should only be used during the transitionary period before you get a 4-piece Emblem set. And if you are running Hyper Bloom Raiden, then 4-piece Flower of Paradise Lost, 4-piece Gilded Dreams, or honestly anything that gives you elemental mastery. You can even just use a 2-piece Gilded, 2-piece Wanderers, who cares, right? Then make sure that all of your main stats are EM, and you are good to go. Now let's talk about weapons. Raiden's best weapon is going to be her signature weapon, Engulfing Lightning. But the weapon banner is a scam, so don't roll on it. Unless you are me and get verdict in a single ten pull. Oh, it's so easy. Oh, it's so easy, bro. You especially don't need to pull on the weapon banner when you have such an amazing free-to-play option for Raiden, that being the catch. This might as well be a 5-star weapon itself at R5. It gives you elemental burst damage and crit rate on your burst, which works really well with Raiden Shogun. The only downside to this weapon is that you have to do the worst thing that you can possibly do in Genshin Impact. You have to fish for the catch. But actually, I lied. 
Again, both of these weapons actually suck. Throw them in the garbage right now. The actual best in slot weapon for Raiden Shogun is Dragon's Bane, because Dragon's Bane gives you more elemental mastery. If you are going Hyper Bloom Raiden, then this will be your best weapon. For DPS Raiden, if you don't have Engulfing Lightning or you are using the catch on your Shang Ling, then here are some other options. For 5 star pole arms, we have Staff of Homa, Skyward Spine, Primordial Jade Spear, or Staff of the Scarlet Sands. And some other 4 star options are Favonius Lance, Ballad of the Fjords, Deathmatch, Wavebreaker's Finn, or Lithic Spear if you have a lot of Leoway characters on your team. For Hyper Bloom Raiden, just use Dragon's Bane. You will probably eventually roll one on accident, but if you don't have one yet, you can also use Moon Piercer. Great, you've got your artifacts, your weapon, and hopefully you aren't playing Hyper Bloom Raiden. First up, the team that made me a Raiden Shogun Believer is a team that the community named Raiden National. It uses the national team core, Sing Cho, Shang Ling, and Bennett, but instead of using Chong Yun or Sucrose, you use Raiden Shogun. This works really well because even though every single character on this team has a high energy cost burst, it doesn't matter because you have Raiden. Usually you would have to spend a decent amount of time funneling particles over to Shang Ling using Bennett, but Raiden gives a good amount of energy with just her elemental burst. This way you can spend more time doing damage with Raiden instead of just funneling Shang Ling for the next rotation. Another popular team is Hyper Carry Raiden. This team is especially crazy when you have a C2 Raiden and a C6 Kujo Sara. It's a team that really scales with vertical investment. This is a C2 Raiden Shogun. But that damage was without a Kujo Sara or a Bennett. So just imagine what would happen if you were to use a Kujo Sara in a Bennett. You can also do weird teams like this. This is a taser team consisting of high energy cost burst characters that all want to burst every single rotation. And it's a team that really only feels good to play because of Raiden. You want to burst with everyone else first to stack Raiden's chakra passive, and once you've done that, you burst with Raiden, who in turn will give energy back to the rest of your team. This allows you to stay in a constant cycle where you're constantly bursting with everybody on cooldown. Another variation of this team is Raiden, Kuki Shinobu, Sucrose, and Sing Cho. The idea behind this this team is the same, but you don't use Lisa on this team. So honestly, team is ass. But in all seriousness, this team is also super solid, and it's actually a bit easier to use than the first team. Another great team that you can use is Raiden Aggravate. You use Raiden Shogun, an Electro Unit, a Dendro Unit, and a Flex Slot. But an Animo Unit is preferred so that you can take advantage of the Viridescent Artifact set. The team I usually run looks like this. Sucrose, Fischl, Raiden, and Baiju. But you can also use Yao Yao instead of Baiju. Another really cool kind of team that you can run is a dual carry team. You usually run this with a carry that has a high energy cost burst that also relies on their burst for damage. So for example, someone like Eula, or in this case, Xiao. My Xiao only has 111 energy recharge, which normally wouldn't be enough, but Raiden helps make up for that lack of ER. Now this will extend the length of your rotations, but I think that the damage Raiden provides plus the energy you get makes up for it. But if you are running Raiden Hyper Bloom, then the only characters you need are Raiden, Nahida, and Sing Cho. That's it. You can literally run a level 1 Amber in the 4th slot and never switch to her if you want. The Hyper Bloom team is Raiden, a Dendro character, a Hydro character, and a Flex slot that doesn't interfere with your Hyper Bloom reactions. So you actually have a lot of freedom. You could run something like Raiden, Dendro Traveler, Sing Cho, and Yao Yao. Raiden, Dendro Traveler, Kale, Barba, you can literally just run all starter characters plus Raiden and it will still work. It doesn't really matter. The most important thing with Hyper Bloom Raiden are just that you have your Raiden at the max level 90 and you throw as much elemental mastery as you can on her. Overall, Raiden Shogun is still an amazing character. It just sucks that when Dendro was introduced, it power crept certain ways that you use characters. I still enjoy using a traditional DPS Raiden more, so that is how I will always play her. Also, if you couldn't tell, I was joking about Hyper Bloom Raiden. Play the game however you want to play it. Hyper Bloom Raiden is a great build, so if you want to play it, then you should take full advantage of that. I personally enjoy using a traditional DPS Raiden a lot more, so that's just how I'm always going to play her. Even though, Hoyoverse is always sitting there, whispering in my ear, Hey, you know Hyper Bloom does more damage, right? That will be all for today's guide. If you don't have Raiden yet and plan on pulling for her, I hope you get a C6 Raiden in a single 10 pull. And just remember, you don't have to believe in yourself. Believe in me. Believe in the me that believes in you. And I'll see you in the next video.